Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together we say, I confess, I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on, and on earth, earth peace, peace to, to people, people of, of goodwill. goodwill. We praise, we praise you, you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we, glorify you, we give, give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. For you, you are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. 
For you, For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the blessed Apostle John have unlocked for us the secrets of your word, grant, we pray, that we may grasp with proper understanding what he has so marvelously brought to our ears. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the beginning of the first letter of St. John. Beloved, what was from the beginning? What we have heard, what we have seen with our eyes, what we look upon and touch with our hands concerns the word of life. For the life was made visible. We have seen it and testify to it and proclaim to you the eternal life that was with the Father and was made visible to us. What we have seen and heard, we proclaim now to you so that you too may have fellowship with us. For our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. We are writing this so that our joy may be complete. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rejoice to the Lord, you just. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are around him. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice, and all peoples see his glory. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Light dawns for the just, and gladness for the upright of heart. Be glad in the Lord, you just, and give thanks to his holy name. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Please stand. praise you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb and we do not know where they put him. 
So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived, and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial clothes there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial clothes there and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial clothes, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple went also, and the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Maligayang Pasko po sa ating lahat. Today we celebrate the feast of the beloved disciple, John the Evangelist. And in our first reading, we heard it is taken from one among the three letters of John. Ang laman ho ng unang pagbasa natin, kung ating pinakinggan kanina, speaks of the reflection of the Christian community which John himself founded. We know this as the Johannine community. The letter contains and states the experience they had together with the risen Lord. Sinabi doon sa unang pagbasa that his community proclaimed what they have seen with their eyes, what they have heard with their ears, and what they have touched and experienced with their hands and hearts from the very beginning. Kumbaga, sinasabi ni Juan na ang aming pananampalataya ay base sa aming karanasan na nakita mismo namin, narinig mismo namin, at nahawakad. Jesus experienced, no? faith experience. This is how the twelve apostles experienced Jesus, what they have seen, heard, and touched, and experienced life together with Jesus on the first-hand basis. Hindi ito yung chismis lang, o kaya marites lang, o kaya base sa testamento ng iba, kundi kanila mismong karanasan patungkol kay Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, now in this Christmas, John is also inviting us and telling us now that in a quite similar manner, just like his community, we are also invited to experience Jesus in a very personal manner. This is very important experience for us because this is what we will share to others with the younger generation, especially to the youngsters. Pareho su- sa komunidad kumuni- ni Juan, all of us has the responsibility of keeping the memory of Jesus so that even the younger generations can know Him. And in this line of the first reading, I would like us to reflect and invite that we are reminded to hand over also the faith tradition, specifically our faith, not just based on the books, not just based on what the father, kung ano mga sinabi ni father, o ano yung sinabi ni sister, o kung ano ang turo ng simbahan, kundi kung ano mismo ang inyong naranasan. Ito ho yung madalas kong sinasabi tuwing nagbibinyag ako. Sa binyag kasi, parang nagiging social event o parang nagiging ritual na lamang. Sinasabi ko sa binyag, lalong-lalo na sa mga ninong at ninang, na hindi kayo dito nagpunta para lang maging Santa Claus. You are here primarily to be second parents of these children, pero ang una na yung ibibigay sa batang binibigyan ay walang iba kundi ang inyong pananampalataya. Buhay ba ito? 
o nabubuhay lang tuwing Pasko? Naaalala ba si Jesus araw-araw? O kung may pangangailangan lang? Our child will follow more what they see from us rather than not what they learn. No? Di ba ang mga bata usually? No? Hindi yan susundin kung ano ang nababasa nila. Masusundin nila kung ano yung kanilang nakikita. Kung ano yung kanilang naririnig. Kung ano yung kanilang nai-experiensyahan. No? Kaya nga may kasabihan din, Values are caught, not taught. Values are caught, not taught. Mas mahalaga pong maipasa natin ang personal na kwento natin ng experience with the Lord. Mga konkretong karanasan natin kay Jesus rather than sometimes no, what is just being passed on from generation to generation. No? We all know that in this day and age, no, marami ng mga atheist, no, o marami ng mga agnostic, no, hindi na nagpupunta ng simbahan. No? Madalas ganun din tayo mga Pilipino. Hindi ho ba? We are called to be nominal Catholics. No? What do we say by nominal Catholics? No? Nasa pangalan lang, na tayo ay Kristiyano. However, no, when asked, no, hindi ako religious eh. Yun ang mga usually naririnig natin. But I am very spiritual. Which is somehow true. Because institutionalized religion, no, like our Catholic Church or any other religion, speaks of an experience of a previous generation. Hindi ho ba? While being spiritual is something that we personally experience in a concrete manner. Yun ang sinasabing experience-based ang ating pananampalataya. Personal encounter. Kaya nga ho sa mga Bible sharing, no? while we read a verse in the sacred scriptures, no? mas lalo itong napapatunayan merong living testament kapag meron kang konkretong experience. Mas paniniwalaan ka dahil sa personal na encounter. What you have seen personally, what you have heard, and what you have touched. Just like what we have heard in the first reading. We may all be inheritors no, of this great Catholic traditions. Sabi nga, 500 years of Christianity. Yes? No? Tamang-tama yun. But we need to experience Jesus here and now. No? We may have a good parang tradition na pinasa sa atin. Pero wala masyadong laman. hindi pa nagbubunga ng masyado, paano ganun? Kulang sa experience. Kulang sa konkretong pagpapatunay na personal tayong naging saksi sa pananampalataya. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, for this Holy Mass, for our Christmas celebration, as we continue this octave celebration, we can only be effective credible handlers of the Christian faith, true evangelizers, if we are able to retell the story of Jesus based on what we have experienced. What we have seen, what we have touched, what we have heard in our lives. Nang sa gayon, kung magsabi tayo, kung mag proclaim tayo ng mabuting balita sa iba, maniniwala sila dahil hindi ito anong tawag nga doon? Parang superstition. Hindi ito haka-haka lang. Hindi ito sinulat 2,000 years ago. Pero, 
Ano ito? Tayo mismo ang makapag-testify na totoo ang lahat. Sa muli po, maligayang Pasko sa ating lahat. Please stand. John was called the beloved disciple because he was faithful to one and close to the heart of Christ. Let us pray through the incarnate God revealed in this gospel, the Word who is life. In every prayer we say, Father of Jesus, bless us. Father of Jesus, bless us. That the Church may be zealous in her apostolic mission entrusted to her by Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of Jesus, Jesus bless, bless us. That we may strive to conform our wills to that of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of Jesus, Jesus bless, bless us. That like St. John, we may have a deep knowledge of Jesus by studying the truths of our faith, let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of, of Jesus, Jesus, bless us, that we may have the courage to follow Christ to the cross and to the empty tomb. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of, of Jesus, Jesus, bless us, that we may share in St. John's gentle love for Our Lady. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of, of Jesus, Jesus, bless us, Father of the Word incarnate, as we rejoice in your Son's birth, hear these prayers to make union with the beloved disciple, our model in Christian life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Sanctify the offerings we have made, O Lord, we pray, and grant that from the banquet of this supper, we may draw the hidden wisdom of the eternal word, just as from the same source you reveal it to your Apostle John, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of this awful mystery, 
Though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visible in ours, and begotten before all ages, he has begun to exist in time, so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so, with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are, are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the, in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the, the highest. highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. For you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint John, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all the glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, word, and my soul soul shall shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the Word made flesh, proclaimed by the blessed Apostle John, may, through this mystery which we have celebrated, ever dwell among us, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Grace bestowed on you, 
Holy Mother of God, our Savior, blessed are you.